This Rolls Royce 20 horsepower by Thrutton Maybury is probably one of the most attractive limousines ever built on this chassis. Chassis number GRJ71, registration number UR7621. Delivered new on the 27th of March 1928 to Lady Olive Seabright of Beechwood Park, Marquette Heights. Personal registration marks had been a feature of this family for many years, and the first mark had been AR6, originally from a 1908 Panhard and afterwards fitted to several Seabright cars. The present mark has been issued on the 13th of September 1930, when Lady Olive sold the car. The original registration book is still with the car, with Lady Olive's signature intact. The next owner must have liked the car because he kept it for 15 years. After several more changes of ownership, the car ended up in storage for several years before being resurrected in the mid-70s. I purchased the car in the early 1993. During this first year of ownership, I had the radiator descaled and pressure tested by Northampton Auto Rads. Also, the cylinder head was removed and the valves reground. In addition, the sump was removed and cleaned out, together with the big ends being checked for condition. At this time also, the cylinder block side plates were removed and the water chambers cleaned out. At the same time, a new water pump rotor was fitted, together with new hoses. This Rolls-Royce 20 horsepower is probably one of the most handsome limousines ever built on this chassis. Its delightful vertical styling is enhanced by several interesting features. The roof extends forward over the three-piece windscreen in a pronounced peak. At the back, an oval rear window and curved waistline completes these quaint but desirable features from the vintage years. The back of the car is upholstered in beige cord, complemented by and in contrast to the fine veneers of the door and window cappings. In addition, glass flower vases complete a picture of elegance which fits perfectly with the car's aristocratic first owner. Face forward occasional seats completely fold into the division. In the front, the seat seating is upholstered in black leather. Being a later model, this car has the advantage of a right-hand four-speed gate change gearbox plus four-wheel servo-assisted brakes. Under the front seat, as well as in the left-hand valance, are situated two tool lockers for the unobtrusive storage of a jack, wheel brace, etc. All in all, all in all, a most handsome car that will provide pleasure and an appreciating asset for years to come.